So before we take a look at the code, let's see what we will be building. So over here we have the application, as you can see on the left, it is a simple chat application. Um, nothing special in terms of UI. I will refresh the page and go to the network tab so you could see what resources are being downloaded. And in this case, I have pressed Command Shift R, so I am re not retrieving, I'm clearing the cache, so I'm not retrieving, retrieving from the cache. And we'll type a message hello. And we can confirm that the message was sent. We're using Signal R, so we're using WebSockets. Of course, this could be implemented in many different ways. And over here, you'll notice that we have received a push notification in Chrome. If this was the first time on the page, it would show us a message to see if we would like to allow push notifications. In my example, I have already allowed them. Now, if I refresh the page, without con command shift R, so a normal refresh, you will notice that most resources or many resources have been retrieved from service worker. This includes CSS, fonts, and JavaScript. You will also notice that the message hello is still there. And since this chat does not have a database backing it and there's no login, you will see your own messages which you have sent in your browser as they are stored in the indexed DB, which is a form of storage on the browser and serves as a JSON store, as you can see over here. The name represents who sent the message, and the message is obviously the message itself. So we can send another message over here. Hi, it's Kevin. And our message is sent, our push notification is sent, and everything looks in order. Over here, I am using an Android simulator, and we are on the same page, and you can see that the messages sent were retrieved in the simulator inside Chrome. So, just to confirm that everything is working fine, Hello, we'll send a reply. And we can see that the reply was sent to our Chrome window. To keep on in line with our progressive web app, we will add this to the home screen. As you can see, it's a menu available in Chrome. We'll call it Progressive Web Chat. We can go to our home screen. And we can see it has appeared over here. I will clear any push notifications. We can open it from here. A fancy splash screen. OK, maybe not so fancy, but uh, it should be a fancy splash screen. And over here, you can see that we are coloring the top uh, status bar. This is to give it an app-like feel and is set in the manifest.json. And once again, it is loading the messages which we have already sent or received. And again, it's using the index.db. We'll send another. Hi, it's John. And we can confirm that everything is still working. What you will notice is that we send push notifications whether we are sending or receiving messages. This is obviously um, not the way we want to keep this in the future, but for the scope of this example, it keeps things simple. And if we close this, so our let's make sure our app is closed. Close it from Chrome and close it from the home screen. Our app is not running, as we can confirm. We'll send a message from here. One second, excuse me.
another test message. We'll send it from here and over here we expect to receive our push notification. So as you can see we have received the push notification over here. In the ideal world you'll be able to click on it and it will take you to the app. However, I have not implemented this yet, but it is possible to do. We have our app, we will click on it, and in the final scenario, we expect to see another test message. In this case, we have a small issue, as we are not maintaining a queue of all messages which are being sent, and in the future, we could implement a queue so that they would be received even if the user does not have the app open. However, we can confirm that the push notification for the scope of this example is working. I, the final thing I wish to show is that if we disable the Wi-Fi, we expect our app to still look decent. I will just confirm that the Wi-Fi is not working any longer. Let's go to google.com. As you can see, there is no Wi-Fi. We can try to load it in Chrome. And it still looks great. We still retrieve our messages from the index DB. And if we load it from here, from the home screen, once again, it still looks well.